lecture to quote or to paraphrase that is the question. Okay, so we're gonna go straight forward. So for today's objectives, so uh, it's understand when to quote and when to paraphrase, understand basically the difference between quoting and paraphrasing and uh, know how to paraphrase according to the citation rules. I will speak specifically, more spe specifically about paraphrase uh, in this coffee lecture. So first, what's the difference between uh, uh, quoting and paraphrasing? Okay, so basically, uh, the main difference between them is basically to quote is to copy paste a short extract of a document and then it's integrated to the text uh, with quotation marks most of the time. It's highlighted in the text uh, anyway. So uh, uh, that's that's for quotation. And then uh, the paraphrase is to rephrase or reword with our own words, a short extract of a document. Okay. So, uh, and the paraphrase isn't, is integrated to the text oh, without yes. quotation marks. Okay. It's not highlighted. Uh, so that's the main difference between them, but basically both of them are a way of citing. So both of them need a citation in the text and a complete reference in the Bible version. So that's an example of quoting. So quoting is very simple. It's just copy paste the extract, highlight it in the text, uh, and then put the citation in the text in this case. You you muted yourself by mistake, I think. Oh, I'm sorry. Very, very sorry. Sorry, you see it's about, me. You see about that? Okay. You heard it before? Okay. Okay, so right. So uh, I'm going on. Okay, so that's for quotation. Quotation is very easy. Uh, now, uh, paraphrasing is more demanding. So, so how can we paraphrase? So uh, there is no actually very strict rules about paraphrasing. Some, some people, some schools may, may have slight different approaches uh, about how to paraphrase. But according to my research, the, the main principles about paraphrasing are these. So first principle, we have to understand very well uh, the extract we want to paraphrase, okay? Paraphrase is about to say the same thing, but in a, in a different way. So we have to understand the, the point of the original extract very well. And normally we should even, even have to uh, look at the original extract to do so. Now the second and third principle which, which are very close is about to change the keywords and change the sentences structure. So we, we want a paraphrase to be as different as possible of the original extract. So this way we would change the keywords and use synonyms or related terms in, uh, instead and change the sentences structure. We will see an example in a minute. And then when we have a paraphrase, just check the original extract and see that uh, it's uh, different enough from the original extract. So that's my uh, quotation I showed you earlier. Uh, and then below there is an example of a paraphrase of this sentence. So if we go see more in details what's what changed in the paraphrase. So I, I uh, about changing the keywords, I highlighted the keywords which were changed in the paraphrase. So if I take the first sentence, so a variety of evidence points to the existence of the dark matter in the universe. So in the paraphrase, the variety of evidence is just replaced by research and the existence of dark matter is replaced by the dark matter exists. So that's a kind of related term. So it may be words which have the same root as in this case, we may uh, use a verb instead of a noun or an adjective instead of a verb and so on. That's a kind of related, uh, uh, related terms. And if I take the second sentences, uh, the second sentence, as it is not directly observable with conventional astronomical techniques, we must rely on computer modules to guide our understanding. So in the paraphrase, uh, the observable, the dark matter can be observed, is replaced by the dark matter can be studied. 
and the we must rely on computer modules. So the we is replaced by scientists and must use computer models, uh, which is very close from computer modules, but in this case, it will do. So that's for the change of keywords and about the change of sentences structure. Uh, then uh, about the structure of the sentences, we can see that in the paraphrase, um, the main the main idea, the main points of the original sentences are just reversed. So um, in the first original sentence, the existence of dark matter is put at the beginning or at the middle of the sentence, and it's put in the end of the first sentence of the paraphrase. And the universe is put at the, the end of the first original sentence, and it's put at the beginning in the paraphrase. Same principle for the second sentence. So there is first this, this idea of um, the dark matter, which can be um, uh, which can be observed, which which can be seen. So this idea uh, is at the beginning of the second sentence of the original original extract, and it's at the end of the second sentence of the paraphrase. And the second idea uh, that we must rely on computer to study to observe dark matter. Uh, this idea is in the end of the uh, original the second sentence, and it's in the, in the beginning in the paraphrase. Okay, so that's an example of uh, okay, uh, changing the sentences structure. So now uh, that's the main principle about par paraphrasing. So why would we want to use paraphrase instead of uh, uh, direct quotation? So um, normally we don't need to use paraphrase. We don't have to use paraphrase instead of direct quotation. The main reason uh, for which we, we may want to use paraphrase most of the times is, is to lighten the text. As we saw it earlier, we don't have to highlight the a paraphrase into the text. So it fits into the text with, uh, with more fluidity, actually. So normally that's the main interest of using paraphrase, but also the other other reasons uh, for which we may want to use paraphrase instead of uh, direct quotation is to show our under understanding of the text. Some professors value that their students use paraphrase as much as possible instead of uh, direct quotation because uh, it shows that they really understand the, the, the extract they want to cite instead just to copy paste it without really understand, understanding it. And uh, the paraphrase may also be used to reword a complex idea into a simpler way. Actually, it, it's, it could be, uh, it's a kind of translation, we can say in this way, to uh, translate an idea, uh, a complex idea to a less skilled audience. And the paraphrase may also be used also to summarize an extract. So basically, uh, the paraphrase and summary follow exactly the same rules. So it's just about understand very well the extract, change the sentences, structure, change the keywords, and be different of the original extract. But it seems that the summary, uh, the output of the summary is just shorter than the paraphrase. So this way, we, we, could, we could say that uh, the summary is just a kind of subdivision of paraphrase, actually. Okay. And I'm uh, already done for this presentation. So I put, uh, I put three interesting links um, uh, about if you want to go more in deep uh, about this question of uh, paraphrasing more specifically and uh, citation. I think uh, Noreline will send uh, you these three links into the chat. Okay. And now, if you have any question, uh, don't hesitate to ask your question. 